वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट रेडियस ऑफ गाइडेशन एंड सेक्शन मॉड्यूलस आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट फर्स्ट रेडियस ऑफ गाइडेशन एंड सेकंड सेक्शन मॉड्यूलस सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ रेडियस ऑफ गाइडेशन so here is one lamina given which is having total area a now this is the reference axis now it is assumed that this lamina is made up of number of small elemental areas da the distance of this all small element from reference axis is r1 r2 r3 respectively to so r1 r2 r3 are the distances of the small elements from axis ab so moment of inertia or we can say second moment of area of this lamina about ab axis will be equal to area into distance into distance of all elements so uh, da into r1 square plus for second element it is da into r2 square likewise for all element it can be written and finally the moment of inertia of this lamina about ab axis will be equal to da into r square so this is the moment of inertia of this lamina about ab axis now let us all individual small element of la this lamina be arranged at the same distance k from ab axis in such a way that moment of inertia about the axis ab remain unchanged all the small elemental areas of this lamina are rearranged in this figure these small elemental areas are so arranged that the distance of all these elements from the reference axis remain same here it is k but the moment of inertia of this lamina about the reference axis remains same as it is so here all these small elemental areas are rearranged and this distance k of the small elemental areas from reference axis is adjusted in such a way that the moment of inertia of lamina about the reference axis ab remain same as per earlier case before rearranging so this distance by which this all elemental areas are arranged with respect to the reference axis it is called radius of gyration so now in this case the second position each small elemental areas is at constant distance k from the reference axis ab so now moment of inertia of lamina about ab axis it will be equal to so now in the second position the moment of inertia of this all elemental area about ab that will be equal to da into k square plus da into k square so for all element it will be da into k square so it will be summation of da into k now we know that summation of da that is total area so iab will be equal to ak square so here k is radius of gyration of lamina about ab axis now let us define radius of gyration the distance from the given axis at which if all the small elements of the given lamina are placed the moment of inertia of lamina about the given axis does not changed this distance is known as radius of gyration here moment of inertia that is equal to ak square where k is radius of gyration so here the k is 
kept on the left side of equation so k is equal to under root i by a this is the equation to determine radius of gyration as the radius of gyration is distance is unit is centimeter so the unit of radius of gyration is either millimeter or centimeter or it may also be meter now let us see section modulus or modulus of section now let us try to learn about section modulus or it is also called modulus of section modulus of section or section modulus is denoted by capital z section modulus it is the ratio of moment of inertia about neutral axis to distance of extreme fiber from the neutral axis section modulus is denoted by capital z so z is equal to i that is moment of inertia divided by the distance of extreme fiber from neutral axis so let us try to learn from the figure So this is a rectangle which is having width b and depth d. This is the neutral axis xx and this is the neutral axis yy. Now section modulus is the ratio of moment of inertia about neutral axis. So let us say in this case the moment of inertia about neutral axis xx that is ixx and that about yy axis is iyy. So I X X that is moment of inertia of section about X X axis and I Y Y that is moment of inertia of section about Y Y axis. Now let us determine section modulus about these two axes. So section modulus about X X axis that is Z X X is equal to I X X divided by D by 2 because the distance of neutral axis from the extreme fiber that is this much distance and that is half of d so it is d by 2 and in case of zyy that is section modulus about yy axis it will be iyy that is moment of inertia of this lamina about yy axis divided by x maximum means this distance which is half of b by 2 so zyy is equal to iyy divided by b by 2 here the unit of iyy that is centimeter cube and the unit centimeter is to 4 and the unit of b by 2 that is centimeter so the unit of section modulus that is centimeter cube so this is all about section modulus now let us say this is cg of the section so the axis passing from the centroid of any lamina it is called centroidal axis so here xx and yy are called centroidal axis. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.